Hey everyone, it's the wellness doctor, Dr. Jeffrey Clark from Marketplace Chiropractic Wellness Center. Uh, and it's time to get real and talk about the coronavirus. Uh, and we're not gonna make jokes about beer or anything like that, uh, but we do want to, to give you a little common sense, talk about uh, some of my thoughts and perspectives. Now, as I'm recording this, we've had uh, six fatalities in the state of Washington uh, in the last 48 hours, uh, all fairly close to where I live right now. Uh, so am I panicked? Certainly not. Uh, and here's why. Uh, yes, fatalities are, are horrible, uh, but the people who uh, succumb to this have all been somewhat immunocompromised. They're older, they're all elderly. I think there was one in their 50s, one in their 80s, and the other four were all in their 70s. Uh, four of them uh, at least lived in a, uh, a nursing home, uh, so we know that they weren't in the, the best health. Uh, and yes, this is a, a global uh, it's not a pandemic yet, but uh, it is, you know, circulating uh, throughout the globe because we have air travel and people coming and going uh, across the, the world. You know, that's just the way it is. But remember, uh, we had just in the last 20 years, we had West Nile virus. Who remembers that? Uh, and then the SARS, uh, bird flu, swine flu, Ebola, Zika. And now we have COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Uh, and coronaviruses mean... Uh, there, there's a number of coronaviruses. In fact, one of the, the types of common cold is just a coronavirus. So it's a classification of viruses. So like West Nile and, and bird flu and swine flu, this will pass eventually because the virus doesn't want to kill you. It wants to live inside of you. It wants a viable host. Uh, so it will eventually mutate uh, and we won't even uh, think about it in a few years. But guess what? There's going to be a new disease coming about. And that's the way these things happen is our population continues to expand and, and travel continues to, uh, to be so accessible. We're going to see uh, diseases like this that go from an animal, uh, you know, whether it's a, a bird or a pig or a monkey or, you know, whatever, a snake or bats that crosses over into humans. That's going to occur again. And the people who are dying are sick and elderly. And so the key is what can we do? to prevent us from getting sick uh, now and in the future. So one of the things is simple vitamin D, D3, cholecalciferol. Uh, it, most people think that they need it to make strong bones. It helps the bones absorb calcium, that is true, but it controls and coordinates your entire immune system. Uh, and if you're deficient, your immune system's not gonna be able to work as well. Now here's the thing, when you're tested, it's measured in nanograms per milliliter. And they say if you're between 20 and 50 nanograms per milliliter, you're sufficient, you're gonna do okay. And that's, in my opinion, not true. You're still not sufficient, you're not, uh, you're, you're not building up enough to, to utilize when your body needs it. Uh, these are 125 microgram tablets. That's 500 IU. Uh, so if you're into international units, so 5,000 IU, excuse me. So 125 micrograms or 5,000 IU is what I take every day and I recommend to everyone, especially we live up here in the Seattle area, we don't get a lot of sunshine. So if you have natural sunshine and you can run around naked, please do. Uh, so titrate, have your blood levels tested to see what your vitamin D3 levels are and then work to get them between 80, 50 and 80 uh, nanograms per milliliter. So that's one of the simple things you can do to boost your immune system consistently. Don't try to, to you know, panic and say, oh my God, I need all this vitamin C and zinc and all these other things that people are recommending. The other thing that I do is I take lots of Juice Plus every day. Uh, this is my favorite daily supplement and it's not a supplement. It actually has a nutrition facts label, not a supplement label. It's whole food. But when we're taking, uh, you know, the the veggie, the fruit, and the berry blends together, we're getting 30 different uh, whole foods that work synergistically. Uh, you know, if you take some vitamin C, it's probably gonna be ascorbic acid. If you eat an apple, you're gonna get, you know, 10 or 15,000 different nutrients all together. Uh, and when you mix 50, uh, 30 uh, whole food sources together, you're getting a lot of good nutrition. Now, here's the key. Uh, they've done studies. That's why I, I love Juice Plus is because of all the scientific research. So as a doctor, I can make these recommendations. There are studies that show it's an immune modulator. What does that mean? It means that if your immune system is sluggish, it's going to help boost it. So you have better immunity to things like COVID-19, for example. And I'm not saying that 
taking juice plus is going to prevent you from from getting coronavirus i'm saying that you're less likely if you have a healthy immune system and this is proven to give a, a healthy immune system the other thing an immune modulator does is if you have a hyperactive immune system it's going to calm it down uh, and that's one of the things that in in certain types of uh, virus births even healthy people seem to succumb because they their immune system goes crazy and it starts at, attacking everything and it develops an autoimmune disorder so too much uh, activity in the immune system calms it down not enough boosts it up that's an immune modulator and those are some of the studies some of the 38 different studies that have been done on juice plus so i'm going to take that every day so if you want prevention do your vitamin d uh wash your hands so you don't you know spread germs that way drink lots of water uh take your juice plus so those are the, some of the things that i do every day and you should too. So if you have any questions, give me a holler. We're here for you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.